There are important things we all missed in all of the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay we've seen so far. Most of these were hidden in plain sight, and a lot of these secrets I know you haven't noticed yet. Here are 55 secrets and important details you need to know about Hogwarts Legacy that were recently released. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated with all Hogwarts Legacy content. Let's get right into this list. To start off, we have field guide pages. Field guide pages are going to be found around and inside Hogwarts. They're going to be guide pages that show you how and what certain objects do, as well as the lore of Hogwarts. This will earn you XP towards your levels. Next, the painting of the bowl with the fruit in it. Right here, you can see a field guide page pop up. The commentators laugh at this quickly because it's actually the entrance to the Hogwarts kitchen. As you're headed up the staircase from the Hufflepuff basement, you'll see on the screen a mystery plaque with a roll button. This seems to be a challenge that when you do it, you get XP or could possibly lead to another puzzle. Next is your field guide. Your field guide is going to show you all your challenges, collections, your map, everything. It's kind of your central hub main menu in the game. This menu is going to break down into separate menus. It'll show your level, your house, and help you as you quest. You can also access your gear and inventory from this menu. The field guide then breaks down into pages to show your completion percentages for each individual item such as combat quest exploration, field guide pages, and removal requirement to help you hit 100% in the game. Next are these location markers that will show up whenever you enter a new area that has one so it will remember what area you're in. These are going to also be fast travel points so that way you do not have to walk everywhere all over the map all the time. Once you make it upstairs you will reach an area where the house cup and the house points are kept. This is going to be right outside the Great Hall. House points will only play a narrative in this game. Directly beside that is the Great Hall, which again is located right above the kitchen. We have a short clip of that in the original trailer, but nothing in the actual showcase. There are also these mystery statues across the map that you should be able to interact, get XP with, and maybe involved in puzzles. These are shown twice in the gameplay. Next is attention to detail, especially people flying around Hogwarts. You can see people flying on brooms here as well as NPCs everywhere. Next are puzzles. You can see a puzzle on the ground right here and the original gameplay video showed a couple puzzles to complete. This is just one example of a puzzle that will be on the map. Number 12 is Herbology class. You can see when you walk to this grand central area right here, you can see the greenhouse directly in front, which is where you'll go for that class. As you continue to turn, you will see the library, which will house books and library type things. And number 14, which is something a lot of people didn't realize, when you walk down these steps, the pan to the right is the Care for Magical Creatures class, which they laugh about and will be a large part of the game with taming. Number 15 in the showcase shows a quest that you're given. This quest is given by Nelly Ogspire, and the quest is to go find a Daedalian key in the Astronomy Tower. This is a winged key that you'll probably need. This is the Dark Arts Classroom. The Dark Arts Classroom is where you'll learn a lot of different spells. You can see it's themed with the dragon up top and a lot of different mystical creatures all around the class. Number 17 is new creatures. You can see some new creatures here, such as this ostrich-like creature that they feature, and another on the board right here, which is a water creature. Number 18 is interactable items in the game. There's a ton of items that you can just interact with, such as sitting in chairs, sipping tea, playing board games, things like that. Next will be locked areas. So certain areas, such as the one you'll see come across the screen here, are locked and actually require certain skills or levels to enter them. Next is this magical character they referred to as Mr. Magic in the showcase. Let me know in the comments if you actually know this character's name. Number 21 is the Owlry. You can see all the owls flying around it. You will be able to visit this location, and I'm sure there will be something cool in there waiting for us. Next is the Dueling Club. This is a Dueling Club that is supposedly off the books, even though people supposedly know about it. Here you'll compete in a combat sport and essentially duel in a Champions Club. Combos are extremely important in Hogwarts Legacy. You can see combos at the top. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see spells that you can cast. You can only cast a spell once and then it requires a cooldown. Since it requires a cooldown, you can't just spam the spell, meaning you have to hit combo spells. So this is important to keep the chain on your magic attacks alive to better help defeat enemies. So you want to learn these combat combos. Next is going to be enemy combat. So certain enemy combat techniques you can see here show shields for enemies. There are also counter spell abilities. So you can see once you break shield here on an opponent, you can parry the ability either back at them or parry it away. This is another important combat technique. So it's not just casting at your enemies. It's managing multiple enemies and multiple fights at once, as well as dodging, rolling, parrying, and countering with shields. Next is the open world in Hogwarts. You're going to be able to go anywhere in the open Hogwarts world you can see. 
So if you can see a mountain over there, you can go to it. There's no areas really that are off limits. Every place you can visit. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see your slottable spells menu with four spells there. There are up to 20 slottable spells and there are other quick slots that you can put spells in to be able to cast a large amount of spells at a moment's notice. Number 27 is essential spells. If you see the left on the D-pad in the bottom right hand corner, the, em the triangle emblem with the eye on it, that represents essential spells that they want the character to have access to at all times, such as the Revelio spell because of its needed and necessary casting very frequently. A lot of these necessary spells with specific situational ability is left on the D-pad. Right on the D-pad represents where you will slot spells, so you can hit right on the D-pad and essentially slot spells in the slots that you want them. Next is L1 on the bottom left hand corner with the potion. This is essentially going to be where your potions are and your tool will. Your tool will will have a bunch of magical items in it for you to use throughout the game. The bottom right green bar is your health bar and the potions next to it is obviously going to be your healing potions for the game. The bar above that is your magic meter bar that fills up your special magic ability as you hit and attack enemies. Next are the common rooms. Each common room in this game is built to detail and built to match lore so each are unique. Number 33 is a lighthearted Hufflepuff common room in Dancing Cactuses. You can see Dancing Cactuses littered all over the room. This is just a fun little detail. Number 34 is lore. The lore in this game follows these field guide pages as well as the story. So lore is an intense part of the game. Number 35 is character customization where you'll be able to customize a character however you want. 36 is teachers. There's going to be teachers for every class and these will obviously be important people for you to know and important people along the storyline of the game. Number 37 is potions. Potion making is going to be important. You're going to have a potion making skill and you're going to be making all kinds of potions in Hogwarts Legacy to help you beat the game and help give you an advantage. Number 38, along with potion making, you're going to be able to create your own armor and some items in your room of requirement, which will be important in the game. 39, flying, you're going to be able to fly your broom, hippogriffs, thestrals, and other kinds of animals, possibly even dragons in Hogwarts Legacy. That's going to make traveling the map much, much easier. 40, all kinds of creatures are going to be in the game that you can tame and use in your avarium, such as the Niffler and others. All kinds of creatures will be able to be tamed. Some creatures even only come out in certain conditions outside in certain environments. 41 is an add-on to puzzles. It's puzzles and mysteries, so there's going to be things all over Hogwarts that you're going to be able to find, that you're going to be able to explore as hidden secrets. You can see one of those puzzles here, where you will have to perform some sort of action in order to activate and complete the puzzle. 42 is dragons. Dragons are going to be a formidable enemy in Hogwarts Legacy, as well as possible an ally. You might also be able to tame and ride dragons in the game. 43 is rain rock and goblins. Goblins and rain rock are a big antagonist in the storyline. As of right now, rain rock and the goblins are featured as one of the primary enemies in the story. If not the main possible enemy, they will be littered throughout the game. 44 is corrupted enemies. Corrupted enemies are going to lie all around Hogwarts from corrupted toads to inferi and more. Next are the companions. So Gryffindor has Natsai Onai. Number 46 has Poppy Sweeting, who loves animals. Number 47 is Sebastian Sallow of Slytherin. His sister has a curse and he's trying to cure it, and he must wield possible dark magic to do it. And 48 is the possible Ravenclaw companion, although it doesn't look like that is confirmed. He may just be a Ravenclaw student that is part of the story. Number 49 is the Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest is going to be a location at Hogwarts that you have to go for all kinds of quests. So if you go to the Forbidden Forest late at night, expect to see spiders and all kinds of other creatures there. 50 is Haunted Hogsmeade. Haunted Hogsmeade is a PlayStation exclusive and it's going to be a quest line where in Hogsmeade there's a secret tunnel in one of the buildings and you will go in there and there will be all kinds of mysteries, puzzles, and enemies for you to face and figure out. 51 is classes. You're going to have to attend classes to learn all of your skills. From all of these different classes, they're going to arrange different skills and talents that you'll be able to learn and master in the game. You must do this well. Number 52 is ghosts. So there are all kinds of different ghosts and spirits in Hogwarts, and some of them are going to have to be interacted with in order to complete quests, side missions, and other things within the game. These are going to roam around Hogwarts naturally, and you will be able to interact with them 53 is talents, so there are a ton of talents in Hogwarts Legacy that you will have to learn, and once you learn, you'll be able to level them up and master them by getting XP. 54 is another take on your room of requirement where you will need to master things and be able to build and make all kinds of stuff, as well as tame and have an area of your own. 
And finally, number 55, Dark Magic. Some of us are gonna play this game good, but some of us are gonna play this game to be evil. So if you wanna learn how to do that, make sure you click this video on the right of your screen and subscribe to the left. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment below what you thought about some of these details in the comments. Thank you guys. Have a good one.